Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 5 of this SS Capricorna tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's top deck superstructure, uh, all the deck houses and things like that, the funnel supports, um, and anything else I can think of along the way. Uh, before I start though, I'm just going to show I've added the doors and windows to the top superstructure, so uh, the boat deck superstructure. I've added the doors and windows all the way along the sides there. I've not done it the same as I did on the prototype with those big uh, display windows at the back end. I just thought I'd do the random thing of you know, many windows, paradors, many windows, paradors. I just did that usual thing because uh, couldn't really be bothered. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do now is move on to the first of the ship's deck houses. Now this one goes behind the ship's wheelhouse, so there's the wheelhouse there. I'm going to go to the back wall of the ship's wheelhouse, and we're going to leave a two-block gap. So one, two, and on the third block back, we'll put a centre block, a red red centre block to mark the centre, and then we want to build this wall, uh, this wall, uh, 21 wide. So that is. Uh, 10 either way, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that way. So there we are, it's 21 wide. And then the sides we want 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then inwards 3, 1, 2, 3, like that. And then sides 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then out 3, 1, 2, 3. Like that. So I've got a bit of a weird design going on there. And at the end of the three, you want to build back two. One, two. Two again, going inwards. So one, two. And two again. One, two. So it's two, two, two. And then we want 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, like that. So we've got that sort of weird design going around like that. And then at the end of the 22, just build in six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and a colour block to mark the centre like that, and there you go, that's the uh, half the foundation's done, I'll just do this the same the other side so it was six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then inwards three, one, two, three, then nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, out three, one, two, three, and then two, 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 and then twenty two one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two and then inward six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. There's the foundations of our first deck house. And then what you want to do then is to build up the walls to four blocks high. So four high like that. And just do this all the way around. And then everything should be okay. So four blocks high all the way around. Like so I'll just do the first few blocks or the first few sections and then I'll just do a jump cut. Otherwise I'd be a real bloody day doing it. So there you are. There you are. There's, there's the height that you want. So four blocks high all the way around. And then we can uh, move on. So I should do a jump cut while I sort that out, and I should return in just a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the uh, deck house all filled in. Well, the deck house built up to the right height anyway. So it's four blocks high all the way around, and it should look something like that. And then what we want to do now is to add the roof. And the roof I used on the prototype was uh, grey concrete, or light grey concrete. And where is it? Where is it? That one, light grey concrete. And that's what we're after. And then we just uh, fill in the roof like so. So just build the roof just to cover the whole lot up and it should look alright so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the fill tool, I'm just going to stand on this block here and use the fill tool to reduce uh, so it's fill uh, 251 by 8 by 300 and that should fill in the whole roof and it has and it's fine, I'll just remove that block I stood on and there we go, there's our roof filled in and it should look something like that <laughs> marvellous, right so now what we're going to do now is move on to the next deck house. So we go to the back end of the deck house we just built, and we're going to leave an eight block gap. So from the centre block of the back of the deck house, we're going to count back nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on that ninth block, we we'll put our centre. And then this front wall is going to be uh, fifteen wide. So that is uh, seven each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That way. And there you go. There's the front wall of what we've got. And then the sides are 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that's pretty much it. Just build the back like so. And yeah, so just build it all to four blocks high basically. So it's not uh, a specifically particularly large deck house, but we'll just build it four high anyway. And we'll use the set quartz for this one. 
down to down to there. And then down the other side. And then across the back, and there we go. There is our deck house done. I'll just, I'll just add a, a centre block to the back wall as well, so I know that is the centre. And there we go. So there's the deck house built up, and then we just want to fill, fill in the roof again, which is the same. So it's the same crappy grey colour. And once again, I just fill on, uh, sit on this block here and use the fill tool. And there we go. There's the roof filled in, and it should look something like that. So there we are. There's two deck houses done. Now for the third deck house is a skylight, so this one's going to be a bit of an awkward design. So I'm going to go back to the centre block of the deck house we just built, and we're going to leave uh, count back three blocks. So we go one, two, three, and add a centre block again. And then this skylight is uh, 15 wide, so it's seven each way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that way. And then the sides are. 18 so it's basically the same size as that so it's 18 for the sides so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 same the other side 1 2 damn it 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and then join them together across the back like so and I'll mark the center block as well because we need that and then build it to two blocks high so two blocks high all the way around and when we come to add the roof to this thing, it's going to be a bit of an awkward one because it's it's a sort of a, a sort of glass dome sort of thing, or a checkered flag sort of glass dome. It's, it's uh, not a very nice, uh, good design, at least when I built it anyway. So there we are. So that's that's the base of our building done. So it's two blocks high all the way around, and then for the centre, three blocks on the front and back walls. Um, we're going to build them to five high, so three, four, five. 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5 high in total there. And the same on the back wall. 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. And it should look something like that. So I'm just trying to work out how this goes. So I think if we build out, uh, build the next row 4 high, 4 high, and then 3 high, 3 high, like that. So it goes at the centre 3 are 5 high, the next 2 are 4, the next 2 are 3, and then the next 2 stays 2. So I think that's how it goes. So I'm just try and build this as best I can so sort of can't really see very well but sort of design like that even that angle doesn't look very good I'll try from this end so build the next row four high the next row two high four high and then two high so it sort of looks something like that and I'm just going to go over to the prototype because I think I'm going to screw this up so bear with me on this one it's 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 a fairly simple design in terms of how it looks but in terms of trying to build it it ain't that, that simple but here's what we're trying to come up with so it's basically just slabs going across from one side to the other. Um, so now checkered slabs. And what I'll do, I'll go back over again. And on each section, so I built the, the centre three, don't we? So that's fine. And then what we want to do then is down every other block. So I've got the centre three there, and then down every other block, we're going to want quartz slabs for this. So we've got quartz slabs. And then, like I say, down every other block. So a slab, space, slab, space, slab, like that. So it's sort of a. a smoother triangle and then I think I build three lines of slabs across the center or two lines of slabs across the center so that's one on the end and one on the other side so you've got the central space in the middle and then in the center we can add a slab every other block to create a check a check ladder sort of thing like that and then we work from one side and so all, all around the other side you do the same design of sloping the sections down and then um, we just add slabs to each section then we can remove the sections that we want so just, if I just add slabs across each section and hopefully everything should work out fine so what we'll do is we'll just cover it all up like this with the slab roof and then we can add the extra bits in a minute, so hopefully this should all work out fine. Then the last slab here. And there we go, so that's half the roof done. So the other half I haven't done yet, but this is how it should look at the moment. And then every, uh, basically every other block, you can sort of remove a slab to create a sort of opening for the uh, opening of the skylight. So sort of. 
checkered design, if you know what I mean. Not really checkered, but you know, it sort of makes it look like that. The slabs are floating, but if you want to, go on the inside and just fill in this, sort of connect the slabs up to the structure uh, next to it. So if I just do that on the inside, connect each slab up and everything should all look okay. That's the theory anyway, I mean it's not perfect, it's never going to be perfect, at least when I'm building it anyway. Um, I'm trying to explain this as best I can, but I'm not doing it very well. I'll oh, piss. I think that's all right. So if we look at it from the outside now, it still looks a bit crap, but uh, it's, it's, it's things you just need to work on, really. But I think the best thing to do is build it your way. I think build it, build it the same design in terms of square. You know, build it uh, so it's 15 wide and 18 long. But when you come to build the, the the dome upwards and around, then just do it your own design. Because personally, I think my design looks a bit crap. But uh, hey ho, there we go. So that's that's sort of how it should look. You know, it's it's not brilliant, not perfect, but uh, that is the glass skylight minus the glass, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, very vague in terms of what it is. So but anyway, that, that's what I've come up with anyway, and I'm just going to copy that to the other side. Um, so apologies if it does look as bad as it does, but there you go, that's how it is. So there we are. Let's get both sides done, and there we go, that's both sides, and that is it's basically a, a glass chicken pyramid. Not pretty, but it, I have to do, because I can't be asked to do anything better. Anyway, that's that bit done, and now we're going to move, move on to the next deck house. So on the ends, on the end of the uh, glass dome, what we're going to do is on the end corners. Um, let's try to think how we do this. We're going to build out. Uh, so actually, no, we're going to go back to the centre actually and add a centre block because we're just going to attach to this deck house here. And we're going to build this wall 17 wide. So just add the colour block. So we build it 17 wide, which is eight each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight like that. I think that's right. And same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. I'm just going to go over to the prototype because I want to make sure I do this right. And yeah, that's fine. It's just just made sure it's one block, so that's okay. So there we are, that's the uh, the back or well, the front wall of what will be the next deck house. So it's 17 wide, and then the sides are seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then join them together across the back, like so. And I'll add the colour block as well, in the centre. And then for these walls, just build them to the usual four blocks high, and everything should be okay. So that's the theory, anyway. So four blocks high all the way around. And then across the other side as well. So it's set. Like that. And then we go, there's that deck house added there. So that's attached to the skylight, so that uh, is that little job. And then you just add the roof, which is the usual grey as well. So I just add the grey roof in the middle. Do this freehand, may as well. There we go. There's our sky. I'm not sky, but our de deck house added there, and it should look a mess. But there we go. So that's that deck house done. So what we're going to do now is move on to the last deck house, which will be the support for funnel number three. When we come to add the funnels, which will be any day, uh, the first two funnels are the same. The third funnel is slightly higher, but sits lower. So there's a bit of a different design there. But we'll worry about that another day. So for the funnel support, we're going to go to the back end of this deck house we just built. And count to the second block back, so a one block gap, and just add a, a colour block. And then we're going to build this 15 wide, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 that way, and then the sides are 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 that way, 
and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 that way and then join them together across the back like so and then I'll add the center block as well may as well and then all you need to do is just double it in height so it's two blocks high all the way around just two blocks high like I said that this deck house will support the funnel and the funnel it sits lower so this will be the base panel platform for said funnel and there we go there's a deck house sort of thing done there and then the same again add the roof which is all grey and uh, there we go so I just add I just stand on this block here and use the fill tool there we go so there's the roof added and there we go there's our deck houses done that's not all that not all the deck houses complete I mean there will be more details to go on them but I just wanted to get these base plates out of the way and so it should look something like that you can start if you want to adding the doors or windows but the, I personally would wait till sort of the end of the tutorial if you like because there will be uh, vents ventilation and things like that going on these things which may get in the way of the windows so personally I'd wait till uh, those things are done but you know it's up to you remember it's your build you can do what you like with it but uh, hey, hey there we go so that's all that done anyway the deck houses so I'm going to do a jump cut now while I work on work out what to do next and then uh, we can move on so back in a moment okay back again so what I'm going to do now is add some openings to the side of the superstructure these are sort of open promenades like we've done uh, on the main superstructure there but these go uh, in the white which we've already built so we're going to cut holes in the side basically so we're going to go to the front of the ship uh, on the uh, large front panel so we've got this first front first white panel here on the front so there's the front of the ship over there so we've got this first white panel on the side and we're going to go to the uh, third block back so one two three back and we're going to go um, let's try to remember if I think it's the second block up from the bottom so third block third block back into second up from the bottom we're going to cut our hole there which is two blocks high okay so that's what we want and we're going to build this gap or cut this gap rather uh, 23 long so look at it side on so that's one already two three four five hang on that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So it's 23 long, like that. And if you want to, we can start adding the, pill the pillars. And the pillars, I can't remember how they go, but I think it's every fourth block we add a pillar here. So we add uh, our first pillar, which goes on the fourth block of there. So that's pillar number one. And then four blocks back again pillar number two and then one two three four pillar again one two three four pillar one two three four pillar Damn it. and there we go there's our pillars added there and it shouldn't look too bad and we can add uh, some corner blocks inside of that so add stair blocks in there like that to create the curve of the promenade and uh, there we go now you can do the same on the other side that will look fine um, on the inside there you can add some inside walls because I didn't do that on the prototype if you can look on the look on the distance of the prototype there's actually no inside walls it's just a big open space going across to the other side but if you want to if we go on the inside actually and maybe I had to do this myself if we go to the back end of the opening and so I'll go two blocks back and then we build and we build inwards one two three four five six inwards and then forwards uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, like that. And then build that to the height that we want. So it's basically a vanity panel, really, because it's uh, not really any uh, use. But you can add doors or windows to this wall if you want to. And it's just something I've made up because I didn't do this on the prototype. So. Um, as I say, it's just a vanity panel to cover up the uh, shocking lack of details on the inside. But there you go. So there's that inside wall added there. And like I say, you can, you can add doors or windows to it to make it look a bit better. I think that's what I may do. Let me just get my window blocks. And uh, we can get this out of the way. So, uh, pair of doors on the back there and repair the damage. And then we can add our windows sort of every other block. Or every two blocks, if you like. And there we go. There's that deck house, not deck house, but that inside internal working is done. It should look something like that. As long as you've got the open gap 
you can do what you like on the inside but it's just a sort of a, a, a basic rundown um, but what I'll, do, what I'll do now I'll quickly copy this to the other side and uh, everything should be okay so I'll copy to that point there and we'll do our usual copy flip to the right and then paste and there we are that's the same on both sides and it should look something like that not brilliant not perfect but it will do so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to the back end of the ship and we're going to do the same again. This time it's going to be two uh, cuts in the side, so we're going to go right to the back end of the white panels again. So it's on, on the same deck basically, all the way to the back of the ship. And we've got the white panels down to the stern here, so you've got the white panels which end just about here. And I'm just going to look, at, look across to the prototype and work out what to do. So here we are on the stern, you can see you've got the white single line of white there. And then we're going to go to this white panel here. This first white panel, which is two blocks. And once again, we're going to go one block in, one or well, one block forward, and then um, one block up from the bottom of the white. And we'll cut our first hole there. So that's the first line there, which is two blocks high. And that's going to be uh, 15 long. So that's one already. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's fifteen like that. And then you leave a four block space, so one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth block, we add another 15 space, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, like that. And that is kind of what we want. Just looking at the prototype, making sure that's right, I think that's okay. And. God, it's dark in here. Why is it so dark? Oh, I see. Got a shadow issue. Right, okay. Then that's just my issue there. There we go. There's that's the two gaps filled in there, or cut out rather. And then the same as before. Every fourth block, we'll add a pillar. So one, two, three, four. Add a pillar. Preferably the right way up. One, two, three, four. Pillar. One, two, three, four. Pillar. So it's four, uh, three pillars in there, and the same on the other one. One, two, three, four. Pillar. One, two, three, four. Pillar. One, two, three, four, pillar. And there we go, that's those pillars added there. And the same as before, in the corners, add the stairs to create the curves. And it will look slightly better than it already is. not And there we go. So I've not added the doors and windows to these inside walls yet, but uh, I will do that later on. But there you go, there's those open gaps. And uh, they don't look too bad. They do definitely bring the ship uh, a bit more realism, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. So I'll quickly copy that to the other side. Remember it's the same on both sides. And I just copy it over. So we do the same copy, flip and then paste. And hopefully that's worked on both sides and it has. Marvellous. Right, so that is that job done there. And then the last job for today, I think I'm going to call it a day early on this one because I'm stretched for time. Um, we shall do the side porthole. So from the, the open gap on the stern sort of a couple of blocks forward and then we just go and add a porthole or window every fourth block along the side all the way up to the front port all the way, all the way up to the front uh, opening so just uh, do this all the way along and it shouldn't look too bad so like I said, I'm cutting it short today because uh, stretch of time it is Friday after all and uh, I'll try and get things working properly on Monday as this is a, a, one of the bigger ships, I didn't want to spend uh, too short a time building things. You know what I mean? I wanted to sort of st when it's a bigger ship, I want to stretch the videos out as much as I can because uh, I want to get as much of the detail done. So, um, so apologies if this video is a bit short, but I'm just trying to spread the load over a bit more because it's such a large ship. It's not the biggest ship I've ever built. I mean, it's not the Queen Elizabeth and things like that, but I say uh, the bigger ships do take a bit more out of you. But uh, hey, here there we go. So we just get these portholes windows done on the white all the way up to the front end and we're just curving inwards that's fine and uh, everything should be okay I'm near the end yes I am and there we go that's the portholes all added on the side and it should look something like that so that's Pretty much all the detail done there. Like I said, I'm cutting this video short. Um, 
but we'll uh, try and uh, move on to something better in the next video. I'll do the portholes on the other side at a later date. I'll do them between now and the next video, and uh, everything should uh, look, look like that at the time. So that's it for part five now. So for part four, we're definitely going to get the funnels in. Uh, funnels, uh, probably the focal details and masts and things like that. So we're going to go more onto smaller details rather than the big bills, which got the most of the majority of the ship done now. Um, and then we can sort of uh, plan ahead from there. So funnels, port, funnels, uh, forecastle, masts, things like that, and that'll be for part six. So yeah, everything should be uh, working out properly then. So I should leave it at that. So this is Rich, signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return in part six, so uh, bye for now.